Hello guys, today I want to share another experiment with AI that I made that may increase the quality of tutorials, developer tutorials you see online. So for example, have you ever encountered a tutorial, maybe a post or maybe a video and after that you need to change a few files in your project and then it's manual work, copy pasting the full code snippet or part of those, so it's quite a lot of work. What if you could get an AI prompt based on that tutorial? And this is exactly what I tried for this particular tutorial, only for one tutorial on Laravel Daily.com. And let me show you how it works. In that AI prompt, it's pretty long actually to list all the files to be changed and what not to change. Then for each prompt, I would write prerequisites, what is expected before that prompt. So in this case, I want to change the login form for filament from email to also be able to use username. So in that prompt, I expect filament to be installed and a few more things. And also let me zoom in. I specify when the prompt was last tested and with which LLM. And now let's try it in action. Copy to clipboard and then I paste into cursor new chat. I paste here. I choose model Claude for Sonnet in this case. And in this case, I have fresh filament project prepared for that prompt. Let's launch and see what happens. In reality, it should change only two files, thought for five seconds, listing the items. It depends on different LLM model, what would they choose and what would they check. So you check if filament director exists, which is not really needed because it does exist. Perfect, but after some analysis, I intentionally will not make any pauses in this video so you would see how LLM thinks. That was case number one and task number one to generate the login class for filament and then update admin panel provider to actually use that login class. Let's see if it does it correctly. Seems like so app filament login is added on top and then login with login class. Great, so it should conclude everything. So provider looks correct. So then the conclusion and the only thing we need to check is how that login class works because in my experiments with the same prompt, there were three different options how it generated that class. Let's take a look at the code here. So instead of email component, we have login form component, correct, label, email or username, great. Get credentials exactly how I put it in the tutorial. Let's actually compare. So the tutorial looked like this, but I didn't specify that exact code in the prompt. I just described it with a few details and it seems very, very similar, except that I used snake case for variable name, which is probably not correct. Probably camel case is the standard for variables. So something for me to fix maybe and validation. It seems correct. And now if I refresh our page of filament, I see an error unexpected, but I will continue roll with it for this experiment in this video. So I'll not edit that out. I tested the prompt three times and it worked flawlessly. The fourth time failed. Failed because probably tap index, as I remember, it's from filament two and the correct syntax in the article is extra input attributes like this. So I need to change that tap index. So let's accept all, close that. And then in the login, I need to change tap index to extra attributes. But even with that error, AI prompt generates the file for you so you don't have to copy paste. You may have to compare to the tutorial and change minor things. We refresh and now have the form with email or username and I can log in not only with email and password. Let's test it out. Yep, that works. And my username or name in the users table is test, test or probably uppercase password. I sign in. Yes, it works login with username. So the job is done based on that AI prompt. And interestingly, I will show you those three versions that AI generated for me in my testing. So login version one, it generated the get credentials from form data in a longer way. So if statement instead of ternary operator in login version two, it shortened it to this. So ternary operator, as you can see, question mark here. And then the third 
option variant was if statement with the comments. So sometimes AI does put the comments, which quite often are obvious. So you need to instruct also prompt extra in your AI prompt to not put those comments maybe, but some people do prefer them. It's a personal preference. So yeah, as you can see, AI is not consistent in what it generates, but with quite detailed prompt, and I need to probably change that tab index to be more specific. It should still help to implement the tutorial in your real project. Of course, not every tutorial is that straightforward with just two files. But for this example, what do you think? Should I continue with this feature? And for some tutorials, I would apply such AI prompt, generate it, test it a few times, and then put on the website. I can do the same for videos, actually, for YouTube. I may even have a list of prompts maybe for a YouTube video for separate subtopics. Or for example, another idea I had, we had a tutorial, six bad practices when building Laravel APIs. So I could provide a prompt to review your API that you don't have anything like this, like returning 200 with an error. So there may be six points in a tutorial and for each of them, there may be AI prompt to review your code. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.